Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm bringing a read to you today. This is going to be your next romantic encounter or person, um, like who's coming next in love for you. So we're going to get some tarot cards. I'm going to use the Love and Romance Journey deck from Queen Sugar Tarot, um, the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck. I did pull the 2B Honest deck from Divine Moon Empress. I'm not sure if I'll be using that, but I felt called to kind of pull that deck out. And then um, heart songs, like I keep having all these um, thoughts of having song messages for some reason. So we're going to use Heart Song Songs in the Keys of Love from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. So your next love, your next romantic encounter or person, love interest. Let's see what we got. This is a general read, so take what resonates, uh, leave whatever doesn't. Let's see. Aww. Um, I feel like your next romantic love interest is going through a big change. Um, we have the five of pentacles that came out. So this to me could be like a loss of a job. This could be something happening where they kind of feel like down and out, um, out in the cold, left behind. Uh, often I feel like this card comes out as someone has recently experienced like um, a divorce. Uh, you know, finances are different, unstable, but uh, we'll get some more cards on this. But I do feel like the person that's coming towards you in love is going to be struggling with some hardships of some sort. Mm. So we have five of pentacles, we have four of pentacles. So they're very guarded with their heart. Um, I feel like they're going through a big, big moment and they need, they're going to need some time, some healing. So uh, this person could potentially be going through that healing process right now. You might potentially help them through that healing process, but I feel like your person coming towards you is struggling or recently struggling, will be struggling. Freaking divorce. Mm -hmm. I think this person's going through a divorce um, or some kind of legal thing that might be kind of keeping them down and out. Um, or, you know, a, a legal situation that has resulted in them being very protective of themselves in some kind of form or fashion or way. Um, financially protected, uh, prote financially protective, protective of their heart, like it could be multiple different ways. But I, I feel like this person honestly is going through a divorce. So big hugs to that person going through the divorce. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I almost kind of feel like you know this person, but uh, let's find out. Give me smart cards about uh, this person coming towards the collective. Uh, your wish fulfillment. This person is your wish fulfillment. You're going to be their wish fulfillment. Victorious, six of wands, victory in love, love will conquer all. Yeah, I kind of, I definitely feel like uh, this person has been around you before in some capacity or you know them or they know you somehow a nine of pentacles so i feel like this person is going to be your wish fulfillment i feel like this is who you've wanted and or the person the characteristics of the person you're manifesting i feel like this is your wish fulfillment this is this is what you've waited for this is what you have hoped for this is what you've prayed for um i don't have the um magician but i feel like you've manifested this situation uh, you really want it to come to fruition. You've been like praying and hoping and guess what? It's going to be victorious. Love is going to conquer all in this situation. So you are going to get your wish fulfillment. Um, and I do feel like um, this person will become stable. So like the five of pentacles is like down and out, right? The nine of pentacles is this energy of building finances, being financially stable, emotionally stable, um, it's, it's kind of like a self-focused card. So I feel like this person is going to be working on themselves, um, to get themselves in a position where they feel worthy of having a relationship. Even though I feel like you are the type of person that you're like, I'm not worried about your money. Um, I'm, I'm not into like necessarily materialistic things. Uh, but this person wants to be stable, grounded, committed, and loyal, uh, financially and emotionally. Uh, before they move towards you. But this is going to be victorious. This is going to be your wish fulfillment. This is going to be a victory for you. That's how it's going to feel. That's how it's going to seem. And then I have the three of cups that just came out. And the, to me, this is um, true love, romance, happily ever after. And this is marriage. Um, I said happily ever after, which is normally the ten of cups. But 
it came out. So that's what I'm going with. But it's also, um, like I always say, the Three of Cups to me is like a, a true friendship. It's not just a lover. It's just not just someone that you're in love with. This is someone that is your best friend that you can count on. You can be your total, complete self with. This is someone who um, will just feel like they have been missing and now everything is the way it should be with you. Like in a relationship, I feel like this person's, um, this is a really powerful connection. This is like soulmate energy. So to me, this is like a wedding reception or like, um, I always say the same thing. I should probably change up some of my wording, but uh, engagement party. Like I feel like this is, this is heading towards marriage, 100% bottom of the deck we have ace of pentacles too so a committed grounded loyal start new new start uh let's see do you know this person let's see do you know this person give me some cards on uh the relationship with this person currently you and them like if you know them if it's a stranger give me some information about that please five of swords hierophant the sun card. <laughs> I feel like you do know this person. Um, I feel like it's somebody that you feel as if you have a spiritual connection with, like a really intense spiritual connection. Um, this again is higher level commitment. Uh, the five of swords was the first card that came out. So this to me is like defeated kind of energy or like uh, anxiety or, or feeling deflated, uh, kind of like run over. Um, I don't know if this person made you feel this way. I almost feel like you know this person is feeling this way. Like, I feel like you know this person might be going through a difficult time. Or if you don't know it yet, you'll hear about someone who is going through a divorce. I feel like they might reach out to you. That's not even in the cards, but I feel like they might reach out to you um, while they're going through some things. Or you might hear from somebody hey, did you hear so-and-so's getting divorced? Like, I feel like you're going to hear that. This is someone you have like a spiritual connection with. This is um, higher level commitment. This is marriage. Um, this is definitely someone that's going to make you feel a lot of joy and happiness. The sun card is the most positive card in the deck. Uh, so this is joy, optimism, positivity. This is happiness. This is just like gumdrops and lollipops, right? Um, this could potentially be a child too. So... It could be someone that you're connected to because of your child or um, that you may know because of your child. I'm not thinking like this is your baby daddy or uh, your ex or anything like that. I'm kind of thinking this might be someone, I mean, it could be your ex or someone you have a child with, but I almost feel like it's like you might have a child that this is a parent of somebody's, like one of your child's friends or... I don't know, like one of your younger siblings friends depends on like your age group or whatnot. I feel like you're potentially a child might have something to do with this coming together. Bottom of the deck, we have temperance. So it's like God's timing, God's plan, right? Um, let me get a couple more cards um, about you and this person. Uh, how is this person? How are you going to feel about this person? I feel like how are you going to feel about this person when they come towards you? Because I think I think they're going to have a story to tell. Ace of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. The freaking Emperor. Oh my gosh, I like this. So I feel like you're going to get a lot of clarity. Um, I feel like maybe this situation is one that left you maybe kind of. Like what the heck has happened? Like I don't even know what just happened. I feel like this person might come back and give you some answers to some questions that you might have had. Or you're going to be crystal clear on what they've been experiencing, where they're at in their life, and what they've been through. So I feel like it's a, kind of like one or the other, um, whatever story resonates with you. But the, you're going to have clarity. This person's going to be clear about, um, they're not going to hide things. They're not going to lie. Um, they're going to tell you they've been through it. I feel like uh, you're probably going to be able to really... Um, resonate with some of the stuff that they're saying you're going to totally understand it I do feel like um this is going to be like a slow and steady burn for you like um I think you're going to know that there's something there but you're not going to you're going to recognize that this person is potentially in their healing phase um and 
and might need time, right? So the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest energy in the deck, but it's solid, it's committed, it's grounded, it's loyal. So I feel like um, your feelings, you're feeling like this is going to be a slow moving situation. And you might have continued questions around, along the way, but you're going to continue to have clarity. I really feel that. Um, you feel like this person is your emperor. You feel like this person is your divine counterpart, divine masculine, perhaps. Um, they're, you feel like they are like a protector and a provider. Um, you might feel like they're a little stubborn because they probably are. Um, but I do feel like you're going to be quite understanding and okay with uh, the pace of this situation. I feel like it's actually better for you to go slow in this connection. What's going to be the outcome between the two of you? I, mean, I never asked about their feelings, but I feel like I feel like they're you guys are each other's wish fulfillment. So, but let's see what the outcome is going to be between you and this person. I feel like this card wanted to come out. I want to take it. Uh, we have two cards. We have the six of pentacles, the two of wands. And the two of wands didn't officially come out. It like flipped over. You probably saw what, you saw what it did. And I took it. The devil, the six of swords. <laughs> and the queen of swords. Okay, well, that's how it came out, so... <clears throat> Let's see. The Six of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Devil, the Six of Swords. So, sixes might be significant. We have quite a few sixes here. Uh, you have a couple fives too. Oh, sorry. I'm kicking my camera, sorry. Um, I feel like the outcome... I feel like the outcome will be a balanced situation. It will be an equal give and take. I feel like this person will put in um, what you put in. I feel like they'll kind of match your energy and it'll be it'll be level. It'll be even. Um, I don't think you're going to have to pour in a lot of time and energy um, into this person above and beyond what they're willing to do for you. Um, I do feel like you're going to be, um, you're going to have to pick a path. You're going to have to pick a choice on what you want to do. I really feel like, um, I really feel like your person is going to struggle a bit more, obviously. I feel like they're coming out of a place that was very difficult for them and you're, you're not, you're healed. So I feel like, um, you're going to have to put up with a bit more, uh, you know, just to get them to the point where they're ready to have this committed relationship. Um, and I think... I think you're going to do it. I think you're going to pick the path to do it, but you always have free will, right? So you have the opportunity to do so. Um, this also could involve travel. So, you know, maybe this person, um, if they're getting divorced, maybe they don't live close. Maybe they're going to be traveling to see you or you're going to be traveling to see them. But I feel like, um, I feel like you're going to have to pick if you're going to stick it out or not. I do feel like this person is going to, I don't necessarily think they're having addictions, but I feel like this person is going to have a lot of thoughts that kind of, they get stuck in, they get worried about. Um, and I do feel like you're going to kind of be this ray of sunshine for them. You're going to be like, um, I was going to say like Pollyanna. I don't even know where that came from really. Cause that, I don't even really know the character of Pollyanna, but I feel like you're going to be this person who is very like sunshiny, warm, nurturing. I feel like you're going to be exactly what this person needs to help them heal on their path. I feel like they're going to have a lot of um, internal thoughts, battles. Like if you could see this card, the devil has like um, puppet master strings on this person and they're like in distress. Uh, I kind of feel like, you know, that's similar to how your person's looking here when they first came out. Um, and potentially it might create some stress for you. But I think this person has to... Um, let go of the the devilish kind of tendencies that overthinking that intense um intense thought process is going to be hard for them to shake i do feel like you guys will be moving away from this devil energy together i honestly feel like you are a blessing to this person that like you're going to really help them so i guess it's up to you if you want to sign up for that um because you know sometimes that is a lot but you will have clarity. You will have um, open communication. I don't, I don't see 
a lot of cups here if I'm being truly honest, but I do feel um I do feel like this person's gonna have love for you. I'm gonna actually ask a few more questions. Um, I do feel like you're gonna have open communication. I do feel like you're gonna have someone who is honest. I feel like uh, you're gonna really appreciate that honesty because I feel like it's something that you might not have come by very frequently. Um, I just feel like this is gonna take a while to get to like a, a hardcore love situation. You might even kind of just be like a friend initially like, uh, you know, they might call you, reach out, tell you they don't want to date. They just need a friend. And that might be kind of how it starts. And it's just like this slow and steady pace before it gets to like a bigger situation. How is this person going to feel about you in the future? Like, how is this person going to feel about you? Or how do they feel about you? Because you see them as your emperor. You see them as your divine masculine nine of cups okay they're the king of cups okay they're definitely gonna love you seven of wands two of pentacles ten of yeah ten of wands and the strength card i just did a read on tiktok and this is quite similar um i feel like in that reading it was like you have to kind of um open up your heart be strong and courageous to like let love come in and i feel like that's what this person's gonna have to do that's what you're gonna have to do um, when I asked how this person's going to feel about you, we got the Nine of Cups and we got the King of Cups. Again, the Nine of Cups to me is wish fulfillment. Same is the Star card. Um, I mean, they have different meanings, but in this reading, they're coming out. It's very similar. This person's going to have the King of Cups kind of energy towards you in love. Um, they're going to have so much love for you, so much compassion, empathy. Um, they're going to love that you recognize what they're going through. Um, I feel like this person will have lots of emotions of love for you, but they don't necessarily always speak it. So I feel like that might be a point of contention between the two of you. Um, I do feel like this person's going to be a bit guarded. Um, the seven of wands, you can see this one wand is getting into her personal bubble. So I feel like this person might be hard for you to kind of get to. I feel like, um, they're just going to be like in the healing stages is what I feel. Um, they're going to have to make that choice too. Like they have the two of pentacles here. Um, they're going to have to make the choice of which way to move forward. It was in the tic-tac read. I think that was the two of swords. So similar cards, similar energy. Um, they're going to have to get themselves in balance. They're going to have to end cycles. They're going to have to put up down their burdens and they're going to have to show strength and courage. I do feel like they really do love you though. Um, it's, but it's going to take something out of them to, to get to the point of being open to a loving relationship. Um, but I do feel like you are going to be pivotal in their healing. I almost feel like I just got like, you were going to show them what love should have always felt like. Um, and it's going to take them a while to get there. Not so much like a while to love you, but a while to allow their heart to be open to love. All right. What other cards do we need to see from the love and romance journey deck from Queen Sugar Tarot? Seduction, storm ahead, winter, fall, and journey. Yeah, gifts and offers is on the bottom of the deck. New pathway. We also have memories, magnetic connection, um, but we'll just stick with gifts and offers. Uh, mm, I don't know if they're going to be gifting and offering you things possible, but I feel like you could potentially be gifting and offering them things. Um, I do feel like there might be some seduction in this situation. Uh, that might kind of be, mm, was this one with the Ace of Wands or is that a different, that was a different reading. That again was the TikTok read. So I kind of feel like, um, some of these are lining up. So watch, go watch TikTok if you, if you have an account. But I feel like um, there might be a lot of passion in this connection. That might be kind of what draws you. But I think at the same time, if you jump into that situation too quickly, it's going to be a lot of second guessing. You're going to feel like this is just a relationship of convenience. So I do think that might cause a, a bit of a storm. Um, this person's going to take some time to open up. We have winter and then fall. So I don't know if it's going to like start this winter and be like to fruition in fall or if it's going to start this fall and be in fruition by winter. Um, so we'll just 
you'll have to let me know. But this 100% is a journey. 100% that this is a journey for them. This is a journey for you. I feel like you're going to, like I said, be able to relate to a lot of what they're going through, which is going to be really beneficial to their path and their healing journey. Um, when I get this card, often I think about Twin Flame. Uh, it doesn't have to be a Twin Flame journey. I don't have other cards of Twin Flames here, but I feel like it could potentially be a Twin Flame. But you're an integral part of their healing and their growing um, and you are going to be their wish fulfillment, and they're going to be yours as well. All right. Let's get some a Soul Reflection Love Oracle card. Oh, sorry. I'm going to take those. So, oh, interesting. This is interesting. So we have, we have no. We have shyness and courage taking it slow. I kind of feel like that, again, is like, people having very guarded hearts and like, nope, I'm not ready for this. So there might be some shyness. I might be taking it slow. Then again, we have passion again. So seduction, passion, we have childhood love. So this could potentially be a return of a childhood love for someone from your past. And then we have fix it, sit down and communicate, which to me usually signifies a return of somebody but like this might just be like what you need to just remind yourself to do like sit down communicate we're going to fix this the queen of swords is here like we're going to talk this through we're going to talk this out we're this is workable like we're not going to get crazy about it we're just going to fix it you know just kind of really down to earth stuff all right, so we're going to get a couple cards for To Be Honest. Um, this is the Divine Moon Empress deck. I feel like I've said this a bunch, but I'm going to say it again in case you've never seen me. Um, sometimes the message cards really validate a read, and sometimes they kind of just don't make sense to it. So take what resonates with you. Sometimes these messages could be something that someone's actually said to you. So you might be like, this person actually said those exact words. Or it could be something you've said to somebody else. It could be something that you will say to somebody, or it could be something you will hear in the future. It could also be, it could be many things, right? But it could also be um, just something that you stated to somebody else that's not relevant to this read, um, but the, the comment is like significant to you. So it's just kind of validating. So we're going to get five cards um, just to see what pops out and see if any of these messages are for you. And like I said, take what resonates and leave the rest. They could be like directly specific to this person in the read too. So just take it, take it how it is. The bottom of the deck does say, I am only in a relationship because you're still in a relationship. So there's that. Okay. I don't like feeling like I'm being forced to make a decision. Please back off a little. I'm feeling suffocated. That might be something they tell you. I'm not sure. Sorry. Um, then we have, I'm being sincere. I've been put down and belittled so much that I have actually started to believe it. Yeah, this is the feeling I get. This is the feeling I get. I feel like this person's going to really need to be built up. And like you have to decide if you're ready to take that job on. Because sometimes that's really difficult. Um, I will never be able to express how grateful I am to have you in my life. Let me show you. And I get so nervous thinking about how I'm going to propose. I want to make you my wife slash husband. Yeah, I do feel like this is going in that direction, guys. It's just a low, low I was going to say a slow burn and slow and steady and long road at the same time. And it, all, it just came out like that. <laughs> but I do think it's going to be a slow burn. I do think it's going to take time. This isn't something that's going to be like overnight. Here we go. This is going to be a while. It's going to take some time. All right. Uh, let's get a heart song, Songs in the Keys of Love from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. I kind of feel like I might get three of these. So the first card that came out was, you're the inspiration from Chicago. And the lyric that's selected is, you know our love was meant to be the kind of love to last forever. And I want you here with me from tonight until the end of time. You should know everywhere I go, always on my mind, in my heart, and in my soul. This person's really going to want to be with you forever. Um, and like I said, you're the pivotal part of them healing. So then you're going to turn into their inspiration. Then we have um, Unforgettable from Nat King Cole. And the lyric that was selected is, Unforgettable, that's what you are. 
unforgettable though near or far, like a song of love that clings to me, how the thought of you does things to me. There's that passion, seduction, the thought of you does things to them. All right, and then the last song is Consequences from Camilla Cabello. And it says, the lyric that's selected is, Loving you with sunshine, safe and sound, a steady place to let down my defenses, but loving you had consequences. I don't know if I know this song, but... um. Loving you had consequences. So this could potentially be, I mean, it could be related to you and them, but it could also be related to their past situation. So, you know, take it take it as you uh, prefer. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was much longer than I anticipated. Um, uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. And until, ne until next time, thanks for watching. Take care, guys.